Harlan Sorry, Williams, man. first time on the show. We wanted him for ten and a half years. We got him here tonight. Uh, just for the record, first and last. Give me a hand. Last time <laughs> on the show. Can I say something real quick yeah. before we introduce Yanni's yeah. Papas? Because I want to say it's a special night for me here tonight. My, 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 my little sister, uh, about three weeks ago, my father, he has anger issues, and he threw... He threw a uh, boiling pot of cauliflower cheddar soup in her face, and she had third-degree burns. And I want to say tonight, not only am I doing this, but she's out of the hospital, gang. So yeah, look at that. Cauliflower cheese soup. What kind of special needs is he? Uh, he has a brain injury from birth, so it's hilarious. Oh, okay. It's real funny, yeah. I was <laughs> Nothing a good cauliflower yeah. soup can cure. <laughs> well... Yeah. If you have any fat comedians, maybe you might want to change this up and get a bucket of chicken. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. No doubt well, about that. Well, you reach in front of me. And like there that. are a lot of uh, there are a lot of fat comedians. You're yeah. gonna see. I could uh, yeah. add something to this because I I'm here to I like to mentor young up and comers, mm -hmm. and uh, the the bit about when you just said your uh, your girl broke up with you. Uh, and this is take it or leave it, but I, what I would do is I would tag that up and then a little later on in the set do a callback. <laughs> and that's just from me to you. <laughs> uh, and you can fuck off. <laughs> All my fans don't have Reddit accounts. Well, maybe they uh, should learn to read. <laughs> and they I love the show, you. and I love the, the, the challenge as it happened. But, uh, sure, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, shit. these are tough words yeah. coming from Orville Redenbacher and... <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> Orville Redenbacher and where's Waldo's bastard rape child? I'm, I'm still trying to find myself. It's kind of annoying. Well, why don't you start with finding your chin? How about that? <laughs> I can say that because I don't have one no, no. either. So maybe no, no. later me and you can get together and do some Adel Appums in the, no. out of the, up, in the alley there. I would be ready to do a minute a week easy and do three minutes in May. Don't but forget, you know. my friend, you have one advantage over him. Yeah. You've got Benjamin Franklin eyes. That is true. <laughs> I also have puppy eyes. Well, not really. Maybe if it was hit by a car. <laughs> All right, and uh, yes, Harland. I just didn't, didn't mean to interject, just real quick. Have you ever eaten a baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm vegan. You're vegan? Yes. All right, a vegetarian baby. Yes. <laughs> Idiot. Like no alcohol, no drugs, no gluten, no sugar, no sex, no dating for six months, no distractions. And no distractions from uh, murdering people. 100%. <laughs> Yeah. What about uh, no Sephora? <laughs> <laughs> A man's got to live. I just, I caught your eye shadow and I had to I say see it. Yeah. What is that, Kat Von D's date rape? No. What is that? <laughs> Can I ask what the tattoo is on your hand there, my friend? What's that? Well, what is Lord it? Euros. It literally says my name, Corduroy. So for half the money, you just could have got freak. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'd have to put it on my... It's five letters. Okay, Corduroy. God, do you do any massaging? Because I'd love to have your blueberry picking fingers all <laughs> over my body. I'm, you can find me very easy in this town. Yeah? I got you. Huh? Deep tissue. Deep, Deep tissue? Deep. Huh. Yeah. How about suck my scapula? How about that? That was actually my catchphrase. 
Now I did construction my whole life, and then I moved out here. I started working in the heat, and I was like, "Fuck that! I'm gonna go into something easier." Uh-huh. You ever uh, think of constructing a joke? <laughs> I know that's right. I uh, can I do something here. Yeah. This might be a little. Uh, I I have a charity called the Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away, and we well, some of you know about it. And what we do is we we help children with cinnamon allergies, <laughs> and we have a foundation. And uh, when I see, I brought my checkbook here today. Whoa, that is <laughs> yeah. that's an actual checkbook. And when we see young comics struggling almost to the point of suicide, (laughs) uh, Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away would like to write a check to help this young fella on his way. I and love uh, it. he's writing out an actual check in uh, collaboration with Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away and I haven't confirmed it with the, with them yet but uh, the Burger King Corporation we'd like to give you $300,000. Whoa! Burger King mostly Burger King but some of it's Cinnamon Angels maybe the wow. 4 or 5 dollars. 300. Take that and be on your way you fucking whore. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Actually, amazing. $300,000 just given to you by the Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away. And Burger King. We haven't confirmed it with them yet, but they have a lot of money, so we're going to be talking to them, and Team team Burger King will probably get in on it with all their uh, employees, the uh, zit-faced fucks. Yeah. (laughs) To think you went from Hope to Pepsi to hot dogs to ramen to... Burger King, $300,000. How do you feel right now? Looks like I'm moving up in the world. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And what is it? Can you describe uh, exactly what it says there on that check? $300,000 with no name or nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> if you take it to Burger King, you'll get free fries. Amazing. Amazing. You can sit down hey, uh, immediately. We're trying to do a show. <laughs> uh, Harlan, you're one of my favorite comics, so this actually means a lot. Uh, he's, uh, he's trying to get you to autograph the check. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do one better. I'm going to do one better. You keep that one. I'm going to do one better. Uh, Cinnamon Angels Fly Fly Away. <laughs> Just earlier this week, we were in talks with Tim Cook at Apple. I think we all know Apple. Whoa. And uh, they haven't uh, signed off on this yet, but how about another $500,000 from Apple? And uh, you go uh, take this and skip down to Arby's and uh, <laughs> bend over an inkjet printer and fuck yourself. That is... Unbelievable. This is the largest amount of money ever given away on this show. We thought Mr. Beast giving away $10,000 of cash in a briefcase was impressive at the arena. Well, he can sniff my sister's (laughs) cauliflower soup face. How about that? (laughs) Oh, my goodness. You know. Well, you got to drift when you're in a relationship. If you don't, you're going to slowly drift apart. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Better to drift you know together. What? That joke didn't go well. I'm going to give myself $700,000. <laughs> it's Pappas at Cobb's Comedy Club. So just a little something to keep in mind, February 9th and 10th. I watched Harlan there about a month ago, and it was probably the best show I've ever seen. Yes, absolutely. It Harlan was on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll take one of those. Yeah, you're gonna get some money. Hey, just just like ten thousand. That's good. Harlan was on one fire. million dollars. Yeah. And hang on, hang on. I'm gonna give you an extra ten thousand to get that life-threatening melanoma off your neck. He did spot it. Harlan has a good eye for uh, for uh, skin cancer. Actually, on my nose, right there. Wow. Was that for real? <laughs> uh, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> Harlan cool. made a I'm joke, and the guy from Fort Worth is literally like, no, I got it, just not the neck. Uh, 
Look Whoops. at that. Look at that. <laughs> Your instincts. You're like one of those cancer-sniffing puppies or something like that. I guess you won't be needing that fucking check. <laughs> Still need it. Still now. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Taking back the million, letting him keep the 10,000. Uh, only here on Kill Tony. By the way, if you ever put the weight back on, just make sure you land on a KFC. You'll be all set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 You know, if you're not going to laugh, I fucking will. <laughs> Can I yes. say something here? Absolutely. Uh, this isn't easy, but... Uh, <laughs> as a black man... <clears throat> for you to come out here and talk about color dressed as fucking Barney... You can go to yogurt land and ride, motherfucker. That is true. That is true. Well, hold on. Did you just call him the N-word? That my nigga. You my nigga, too. We don't use the N-word. <laughs> not on this show. It's <laughs> certainly not Jesus. Give him a hand. That's my son. Isn't he great? It is true. Look at that. Can you spell? Am I what? Can you spell good? Ah, uh, spell it for me. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'll pass. Someone's just about to get a nice fat check. Uh oh. Hell here yeah. we go. Hell yeah. Pops appreciate you put three yeah. million dollars on that. Don't spend it on sneakers. <laughs> Thirty one million dollars. Yes, it is true. I actually watched it happen. He wrote it for yeah, one million. Baby. So, no. Uh, you know yeah. what? I've never done this before, <laughs> but I'm gonna do this. Take this and you write me you a write fucking yourself check, a check. All right? Wow, <laughs> incredible. I want two hundred thousand dollars for sitting here and listening to uh, Jared from Subway Part Two. It's true. It's Dude. true. Yeah. Let me ask you something, guy, and be honest. <laughs> yeah. When you're not doing stand up. Are you traveling around the world in your van with a talking dog looking for ghosts? <laughs> uh, I, I wish my life was that good. I was... Like, if you're here, then like, who's that on your driver's license? <laughs> oh? Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ma'am, if you could look away, I hate your eyes. <laughs> yeah. These New Yorkers, they don't do a lot of the touchy-touchy. Oh, right New now. York. Okay, I get it. That's why he's a little resistant. Not like this fucking little guy likes me to touch Come him. Come on, no, no, get cool. your pants clean. No, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> those are those are a lot of a uh, lot of action. Those pants. Great seen, pants. Nice to see mold is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Only guy I know has a yeast infection on the outside. Give it up for Harlan Williams, who hasn't had a movie farther than since I've had a fucking movie. <laughs> fucking cocksucker. What was he in? Rocket fucking man, and what was it? Some the other thing. Yeah, but <laughs> like I now did he's it by getting choice. weird. He was <laughs> he was supposed to be in Biodome, right? Is that what you keep well, saying? Well, I was him? originally cast in Biodome, right. and they booted me off, and they put you in. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Give him a hand. That's my son, isn't he great? Huh? Pre-op, gonna be a girl in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. With the great Harlan Williams. And of course, Half-Baked, a huge part of my fucking childhood. Me, myself, and Irene. No thanks, I'm busy. <laughs> so many greats. Was supposed to be the Amish guy in Kingpin, but had a series that he had to do instead. That's right, yeah. Yes. Holy God. But let's keep the focus on Paul, shall we? <laughs> Hey, where'd you meet the tall guy? Where'd you meet him? Uh, he, I want to call him a chuckle fucker. 
because uh, he saw my set and then was just really into me. Uh. Right. Well, John Wayne Gacy was a chuckle fucker too. So. <laughs> I want to watch your step there, uh, corn on the cob, Sally. I, ro- I roll a mean blunt. I do not sound like that. I don't even sound like that. What are you, the Indian C-3PO for fuck's sake? I do not like that. I will roll you a blunt. I will fuck an old football player. I am D. I am D. One three PO. Fucking go backstage and oil yourself. <laughs> I am R two D one. Okay. I love it. So you roll a mean blunt. Very good. Okay, that's good. She rolls a mean football player too. Hello. <laughs> Do you have any birth? Any any what? Birth. Birth? Control pills? Oh! Birth is short for birth control pills. BCPs. Not real good at what you do there, guy. (laughs) Yeah. I know where to find a good pair of stairs. And this guy doesn't even know. Holy (laughs) fuck. Put on a lumber jacket. Go suck on the front end of a canoe. Great call, $175, and I've been handing out millions to everyone else. $175. Can I ask a question that it sounds like you have a rich history here? It sounds like there's been a lot. Very much so. I think uh, I'm trying to think of one question that maybe nobody's ever asked, if if you'll indulge me, friend. Yeah. Have you ever snuck up into the graveyard in the middle of the night? Covered your face in gravy and pretended you were a meatloaf monster. You are so funny. It's unbelievable. <laughs> really are, how funny like, you are. One of my favorites of all time. That's, a, that's, a, that's the best scared straight joke I've ever heard. Oh, the entire book. Oh. Fuck yeah. Knock yourself out. Go and, out to <laughs> KFC and get the extra large coleslaw, you. You know what's crazy? Twat. I'm actually a member of a Dolphin Bank <laughs> with no numbers, no Let no. Let me read it to you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>